wrong. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Listen, I'm no better than anybody else. I'm a sinner saved by grace. There are two people. There are people that are saved by the grace of Jesus Christ. And there are sinners who are lost. And those that are saved by grace will go to heaven by the blood of Jesus Christ. And for those that are lost, they will die in their sins. They will wake up in a place called hell. And Jesus came to seek that which is lost. And God tells those his Christians, his bride, after we are saved, he tells us to go into the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. It is so simple to see that Jesus saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And you say, well, saved from what, preacher? Hell. You see, the Bible does speak about an afterlife. But you won't find purgatory. You won't find Van Hala. But you'll find a heaven by Jesus Christ alone. You will find a hell in the rejection of Jesus Christ. You see, you only go to heaven by faith and belief in Jesus Christ. You go to hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. There are good people in hell. There are terrible people in hell. There are churchgoers in hell. There are people who never set a foot in church in hell. But there is no one in hell that put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ in his finished work. You see, Jesus Christ is the way. He is the truth. He is the light. And that there is no access to God the Father into heaven but by Jesus Christ. You're not going to approach God on Judgment Day and say, God, I was good. And you may be good. But the Bible says there is none that doeth good. You will not be good enough. When you are weighed against the goodness of Jesus Christ. You see, every person has their own merit of good. I was five to six years in a prison ministry. And I have seen some horrible crimes or the criminals that were locked up for horrible crimes. And they have things that are good, and it sure will not be your good. There are clubs and organizations and groups of people that have a different good than what your good is. Some people may think that pornography is good. Where I will call pornography sin. There are some people who think if I go out and get drunk tonight and a party, that's good. But I will call it wicked and sin. 
Some people will say if I cheat on my spouse, it's good. And I call it adultery. So when you say, well, I'm good. All right, the standard of good in the Bible is Jesus Christ. How good are you up against Jesus? Who is God? Who is sinless? And when you are up against Jesus Christ, the God of all, the creator of all, the righteous, the holy Jesus Christ, if you are put up against him, his goodness and your goodness, you will fail. And you will fail miserably. That there is no good or no better than Jesus Christ. And that to go to heaven, not a standard, but the, but the rule, the law set by God is to go to heaven is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures that he spilt out his blood. He shed his blood upon Calvary's mount. And according to Acts 20.28, 20, that blood of Jesus Christ, who is God, is God's blood. Now, if you want to get to heaven on your merit, you've got to be better than Jesus. You have got to be God. Big G. I know the Bible speaks about man being a God. Small g. And man can be a God. Small g. But you can't be God, big G. So already you're not going to get to heaven on your merit because you are not God, the big G. And it is God who suffered and died upon the cross of Calvary. That's the salvation. Now... Not only do you have to be God, but in your veins you have to have God's blood. You don't have God's blood. God's blood is sinless perfection. God's blood is what God set forth to be put upon the altar of Calvary's cross. Our blood has diseases. Our blood has too much sugar. Our blood has chemicals that are infirm our infirmities. And yet the blood of Jesus Christ, no cancer, no diseases, no ailments. The blood of Jesus Christ is the blood of God. The blood of Jesus Christ is God's sacrifice for sin. Are you washed in the blood of Jesus Christ? So for salvation, you have to be gooder than Jesus and his good. You have to be God, whereas Jesus is God. You're not God enough. You're not holy enough. And in order to save yourself, you've got to have the blood of God. And you don't have the blood of God. If we take your blood and bring it to a place that, that breaks down your blood and, and look for things in your blood, you'll find something wrong. 
You need the sinless blood of Jesus Christ that was spilt upon the altar of Calvary. In order to save yourself and go to heaven on your merit, you have to be perfect. And I mean 100%. Yeah, I know you Americans, you think you're, you are perfect. You think you are the greatest. I'm talking about a perfect that's without sin. I'm talking about a perfect where you have never sinned. Where, let's take the Ten Commandments. <clears throat> you have fulfilled the Ten Commandments 100%. You have never thought ill of your parents. You have never stolen anything. You have never told a lie. That's impossible. You are a sinner, <clears throat> and you are in need of the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And that Lamb of God is Jesus Christ. For the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And when all have sinned and come short, of the glory of God. You're not God enough. You're not perfect enough. You cannot save yourself. You need the one who is good. You need the one that is holy. You need the one that, that had the blood of God. You need the perfect one. And that's in Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ is able to save your soul. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. 